guys, welcome to Because You Can Fitness's first workout video. I'm Lori Murphy and I'm really excited to have you working out with me today. I'm going to be going through a workout that will cover the whole body, so lower body, upper body, and core. And we'll do some modifications as well as progressions so you get an overall of where you are um, in your workout so you can do all the different movements as well. Today, I'm happy to announce that I will be playing a great playlist by my sister Leanne, who, AKA Escape Artist, who has put together um, some wonderful songs for this video. Uh, you can find more of her music on facebook.com slash escape artist as well as her SoundCloud cloud page. So let's get started. Um, the first thing is have water, a mat, and a pair of dumbbells with you. Um, and also remember that anytime you need to take a break, um, do so, as well as anytime you need water, please grab water. It's very important to stay hydrated throughout your workout. Um, and so let's get started. I'm going to start the music and we'll start with a warm up. Okay, for a warm up, let's get started with marching in place. Real easy, nice and slow. High knees. Good. Run in place. Get those arms involved. Back and forth. Good. And change it to butt kicks, which means we want you to be kicking behind you. Continue with some toe taps. Good. Keep going. Excellent. All right, jumping jacks. Two more, one and two. Good, jump rope. Good, and let's go into some skaters, get that upper body involved. Feel like you're warming up? I know I am. Good. Shuffles. Good. Twist. Good. All right. Let's get started in our workout. Our warm up completed. We're going to do three sets of 15 chair squats. What I mean by that is legs, feet, everything's together nice and tight. And you're going to get those hands because so I've got ski poles in them. And you're going to come down into a squat. Good. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 
14 and 15. Good. Hold. We've got two more sets. Three, four, five, six. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hold. Now one more step. I'm going to turn sideways. What I want you to see is how it looks like chair squats. You're getting ready to sit in the chair, and how those arms are going. Let's go. and 15 and hold. Good. Grab water if you need it. Grab a little. Alright. Our next one are pulse squats with a front alternating front kicks. So your feet are a little more than a little more than half width apart. So you're going to come down and pulse. One, two, three, and kick with the right. One, two, three, and kick with the left. Good. Two, three. And four. Six. Seven. Two more, one more on each side. Let's go. One. And two. Good. Shake it out. Two more sets. Today we're doing each exercise, three sets, 12 to 15 reps, repetitions. Um, another way to do these would be circuits, meaning that you do one set of each exercise all the way through and then start again at the beginning, all the way through, and then again, and until you do like three or four times through. All right, here's our second set, let's go. Our next one, 
sumo squat. Good calf raises. We're gonna work the legs some more. And those calves, get those strong. So it's a wide stance. Our first set, we're gonna change these up for all three sets. Our first set, we're gonna lift the right heel up off the floor. We're gonna do 10. Then we'll switch, lift the left heel up off the floor, and do 10. We'll hold till our next set. All right, let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And switch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And hold. Good, we have two more sets. Our legs for these, our feet are slightly pointed out. And they're nice and wide. All right, our second set will be, let me just make sure I've got good things here. All right, second set, and we're gonna alternate between our heels. So we'll go one, two, okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and hold. Good. One last set. After this set, we'll grab some more water. All right. Now you can stay in set number one or set number two with only lifting one up or alternating, or you can join me in set number three, which will be holding both heels up off the ground, testing our balance, and doing a count of 20. All right, ready? Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, hold on, and 20, excellent. All right, we're gonna grab that water and move on. And again, if you're interested in listening to more of this music, you can check out facebook.com slash escape artist or escape artists SoundCloud. I'll have to look her up, I think. All right. You can also look at my Facebook page, uh, because you can fitness Facebook page. I posted, or I will post her music there as well, so you'll have an opportunity to find it there. Okay, now we're gonna do side lunges with an upright row. We're gonna get our arms involved. They can't slack off anymore. Okay, nice wide stance. Toes are slightly pointed out. You're gonna go over to one side, keeping those not too far forward, but nice and back. Leaning back and leaning back. And when you come into the middle, do a nice upright row. What I want to see are those elbows pointing out to the side. All right, let's go. There's two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and one more. Sixteen. Excellent. Just checking to make sure everything's working as it should. All right. Two more sets to go. Let's go. Great. There's ten. Fifteen. 
15, and 16. Excellent, excellent. Good job. One set, and we'll move on. Check out those legs. All right, now if you wanted to do these without weights, that's perfectly acceptable. Makes it a, makes it a little less stressful. Um, you can still do the arm movements. Let's go. those weights down, take a break, grab a drink of water. One thing to keep in mind as we do all these exercises, make sure that we want our back in most of these to be relatively straight, no tilting or tilting forward or back, and our head and neck and shoulders all, all in line. Um, so that we're not straining or putting any undue stress on our neck. All right, moving on. The curtsy lunges. Now, as the name implies, it's kind of like when we used to curtsy. So we're going to, today's curtsy lunge will be to the back. You can do them to the forward front if you want. Uh, so it'll, a little more of a crossover or crossover lunge sometimes they're called um, right then the regular front and back or side lunges so when we do these we're gonna hold our weights with palms facing out and we're gonna put them in a, like a tray so you were carrying something you know, on a tray on your forearms and you don't want them to fall off so when we do this we're gonna come here and bring that back Good. Three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, ten, good. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Good. Got two more sets. Three, two, one, and hold. One more set to go. After this last set, I'll take another break, grab a drink of water, and move on to all upper body. My legs will get a chance to have a break. All right, let's go. with weights or not, and you can 
change the direction of your overhead press depending on what feels better for you. Um, we're going to do we're going to do bicep curl. So your palms are facing out. And come in and twist. Now your palms are facing out and up into a press. Now you can do this press here straight up. You want to make it into a military press or put a little less pressure on your shoulders. And back down. Let's, let's go. Now, feet are hip width apart and a nice soft bend in those knees. There's two. Great. Good. Take your time. Excellent. Three more. There's 13. Last two. Good. Last one in this set. Excellent work. Good job. All right. It's warm in here. All right. Second set. Let's go. are good for the biceps, the front of the arm, and the shoulders. Tricep kickbacks, actually. 
All right. These will work your back as well as your triceps. We work to the front. Now we'll work the back. All right. So hip width apart. Those feet and legs. Hey, slight bend in those knees. Hinging at the hips slightly. Good. Arms straight down. And bring it into a row and bring these right back into a kickback. Your head and neck are all in alignment with your back. Back is semi straight, you're pretty straight, and you're looking right out about three, two feet in front of you. Good. And you can do these together as we are, or you can do them one at a time, alternating. Good. We're going to do it this way first, so you can see the alignment, and let's go. Good. Keep those elbows, wrists, everything right, right nice and straight. All you're going to do is going to keep those elbows right here, and just kick that back. No swinging. A little trick, the wider your hands, a little bit easier they are. 
And I want you to be rolled onto the front part, right before the knee. I don't want you to be right on the knee. That's putting too much pressure on the knee itself. All right, let's go. And when you do them on your knees, you might be able to get a better range of motion. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Hold. Good. Got two more sets. Second set will also be on our knees, and our third set will be out straight. A lot of people think there's a misconception that says that push ups done on your knees are not real push-ups, they're girly push-ups, and what that means, but they are actually very good push-ups, and just because you can get on your feet and do a push-up doesn't mean that, you know, on your toes, doesn't mean that you're necessarily getting the full range of motion, and I'd rather have you get a full range of motion than be able to be out on your toes. So you'll see what I mean because um, we're going to do one more set on our knees and then one set full out. All right. And five, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're looking straight through your hands, straight between. And 15. Good. One more set to go. Excellent work. Push-ups are by far one of the hardest exercises, I think. But it builds up the... It's good for strength. All right. Go one last set. We're going to do these out on our toes. Yeah. And I know I won't be getting down quite as far, but I want you to see the difference. Um, and doing them on your knees, certainly not curly. And you can keep your feet a little bit wider if you want. That also helps. All right, let's go. Let's count this out. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, good. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, almost there, 3, 2, and one, good job. Excellent work. Let's grab our water and grab our weights. We're down to the core part of our workout. You've made it this far. Excellent work. All right, we're gonna do a crunch and punch. You don't have to have weights. You can start with not having weights, and you can progress to whatever weight you would like. But all we're going to do, feet are on the floor, knees are bent, weights are in, palms facing into the body, and back is straight. We're going to come up and punch. Good.
last set. You ready? All right, let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, excellent job. Grab water if you need it. Yeah, you can't have too much water. You always have to stay hydrated when you exercise. So make sure that you hydrate before, during, and after. All right. We have got two more. So this is, before we pick up our weight, we're gonna go into a pike crunch, which means that our, our upper body and our lower body will come together as a V. And we'll do the last set with weight, but the first two sets we won't. So, it will look like this. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Those are hard. All right, switch over. I'm just making sure all is well with the computer. All right. Got two more sets. Let's go. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, good job, four, three, two, and one, good job, wow, I was definitely feeling those, got one more set, and we've got a plank, and we'll stretch it out. Excellent work. Now this last set, which I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but we're gonna add a weight to it and that'll add another dimension to this. And then we'll, um, we'll do our plank. All right, so I've got 10 more, 10 more. We can do 10, I know it. 10. Take your time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, and one. Good, you should be feeling that right in your core, right in the center of your abs. All right, grab water if you need it. I'm gonna get a little step. Before we move on to our plank, and then we'll cool down. So, we're going to plank, and we're going to hold for 20 counts. I'll count it out. Um, the first two we'll do that way, and then the last one we'll lift our arms and count that out to 20. And you can do this on your forearms if you'd like, if that's more comfortable. The biggest thing I want you to have is a nice long straight line from head, neck, back, all the way down the legs. Um, no, no dipping, t I don't wanna see this or even this. This is something different. All right, let's go. Nice straight line, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come on down. Two more sets to go. Stretch that out. 
All right, how is that? Excellent. Let's go. Second set. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come on down. Remember to keep breathing. And also remember to keep these hands and arms aligned. So wrists and arms aligned under your shoulders. I don't want to be too far out here or too far forward. All right, our last one is we're going to be lifting our arms and counting to 20 as we do so. And we can do this. We've got this last set at 20 counts. And then we stretch. Good job. All right, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one. Awesome job, guys. Come down into a child's pose stretch. Good job. Arms out. Nice and long. Foreheads on the floor. Walk those hands over to one side and stretch long. Excellent. Nice work. And walk back through center from those hands and over to the other side. Nice long stretch. Ooh, back through center. Hang here for a couple of seconds. Catch your breath. Good. Come on up to table. And we're going to roll that back out a little bit. One. And into a cat curl. Two. Good. And three. Excellent. Good. Bring that right leg forward. I'm going to go right into a nice runner's lunge stretch here. Lunging forward. Excellent. And pick the toes up off the mat. Roll back. Get a nice long hamstring stretch. Excellent. All right. Switch sides. And left foot forward. Lean into it. Awesome. And pick up those toes. And a nice hamstring stretch. Good. All right. Come into downward facing dog. Good. Paddle those feet back and forth. Nice work today, guys. All right. Walk your hands and feet together. Hang in forward fold. You can grasp your elbows if you like. Just hang. Hang. Good. Excellent. All right. Ten. Right leg behind left. And lean into that. Nice work. All right, uncross. Great. And uncross. Good. And let's roll up. Head comes up last. Roll those shoulders out. Good job. Roll them forward. Excellent work. Oh, I'm definitely feeling it today. And two and three. Good. And let's do a nice hum. calf stretch. So you're going to bring one foot back and lean into that. Good. Lean a little forward. You should feel that in that calf. And back. Good. You worked those calves earlier. And they need a stretch now. Good. And release. Let's bring our right arm out. And let's put our hand in between the shoulder and the elbow. And look over that right shoulder. Good, into a tricep stretch again, not putting your hands on the elbows, but in between, good, and release, and left arm out, good, nice and long, looking over the left shoulder, good, and up into a tricep stretch, 
Nice job. Good, and release. Let's twist that out a little bit. Three, four, five, and six. Good. Two deep breaths in. And blow it out. And one more. And blow that out. Excellent job, guys. So glad that you tuned in to do this workout with me today. And stay tuned for more videos to come and an online live webcam class. And I will hope to see you again soon. Thank you for joining.